Helping the community is important here, especially to the Lucas County Children's Services. That's what they do to are doing today to help some of the residents of the Greenbelt Place Apartments. This morning we are joined by Julie Malkin. Julie, um, can you talk to us a little bit about what LCCS is doing for residents of the apartment complex today? Good morning, Kaylee. It's us at, at LCCS, but we are doing this with the assistance of many partners, particularly uh, our friends at the Movement and our friends at the YWCA uh, Area Office on Aging and the Lucas County Commissioners. We are very concerned about the conditions at Greenbelt Place. You know, there's a very fine line between uh, poverty and child neglect. And we don't want to see any children harmed because they can't, the families don't have access to services. So what we've all come together to do is to recruit some other agencies here in Toledo, and we're providing a resource fair. So families are aware of the resources that are right here in the community that can help them uh, with their living conditions, with their family conditions, uh, perhaps with some housing or uh, linkage to other services. So we're having an information and resource fair today from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, at the Greenbelt Place Apartments at the intersection of Michigan and Wa Walnut Streets. Um, it's for the community right, around, right there around the apartments and in the complex. So they can come on down. Uh, I know we'll be giving away some uh, things like blankets and coats and for little kids. Um, there'll be linkages for social services with job and family services, mental health services, uh, almost anything that you need as a member of this community in need, um, we're going to have available to you. Mm -hmm. And Julie, uh, we know the Greenbelt Place Apartments have been in the news recently because of those living conditions. Uh, Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur also hitting on that as well. Why was it so important uh, for you and the other organizations to step up and provide that help for the residents there? Well, the, this is our community. This is Toledo, and these, you know, the folks who live there are part of our community, just like you and I. And it's very unfortunate that they've ended up in the situation that they're in through no fault of their own. And we have to reach out. You know, some folks are in need, and Toledoans and Northwest Ohioans have always reached out and uh, responded to the call for help. And again, we just are looking forward to the well-being of the children and the parents there because we know that there is a linkage and a fine line between uh, poverty and neglect, and we want to make sure that families aren't in situations that, uh, through no fault of their own, that could possibly lead to us needing to have uh, contact with the family from a, a, a case standpoint. So we're hoping that we can be proactive here and provide families with services and access to resources that keep them from having to have a case with Lucas County Children's Services. Julie, thanks so much for joining us, um, providing some insight on what's happening today and why you and other organizations have come together to help these residents. Absolutely. Again, that resource fair happening from 11 to 2.